peace and love. Hope all is well. Hope you're feeling good, feeling blessed and high vibe. Now, in this video, we will be bringing forward, or I intend to bring forward the energy, and I intend to connect with the energy of Michael Jackson. And a moment ago, I was getting intuitive messages, and it was that he wanted to speak about love and how men. So it was basically a change in how men are going to express love and how love is going to feel for them. And also there's an element of removing fear and removing um, fear from like your authentic expression of love. And bef I was, before I did the connection, so before I have start began to feel my decided to listen to one of the songs one of his songs and the song that um, was given to me to listen to was um, she's out of my life so i put it on and just as i was receiving the intuitive message about um, the expression of love there's a line in the song where it says something like um i realize love needs expressing or something to do with love and expressing love and i was like okay that's confirmation confirmation but what we're going to do is, I think we will set the intention to connect and bring him forward and then we'll pull some cards, see if we have any intuitive messages coming from him or whatever energies, and then, or any energies around Michael Jackson, and then after we will close our eyes and see if we have a message coming forward from him. So let's just put our intentions into these cards to bring forward messages and guidance regarding Michael Jackson and the energy of Michael Jackson. some reason I'm getting, I was receiving, like, I was hearing the battlefields of the heart of man. I'm not sure what that's referring to, but what I think we're going to do is we're going to pull maybe one or two cards from the Keepers of Light that can see if we have anything come forward. Mariam, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Okay. What the intuitive message that I'm receiving from him is that for him, love most definitely did have boundaries. But then immediately as he said that, he brought me to, even though some of you seem to think that um, to him, love had no boundaries. And what he was referring to was the allegations um, regarding the children. He's making me feel that with the energies that that are around me at the moment are making me feel that because what I'm hearing and what I'm getting is that you see me like lots of you see me from like Michael Jackson and my music and my love and my like the gift of song that I've given to earth but many of you still hold the other side that like the media wanted to portray it's almost like we look at him in a dual, a dualistic kind of way that he's a bad person. He, he's saying we all need to acknowledge our, our light and, and our dark, but his dark is not that dark. 
he's saying yes he has um his own darkness and had his own darkness to face on earth but his darkness wasn't that dark his darkness is based when he's saying his darkness wasn't that dark it's that he couldn't didn't do such horrible things See, because I'm not trying, I'm not putting any opinion on it but, or judging or anything like that, but I'm saying in my, to myself, to him as well, that, but what about the things that they may have found after your death in your home or whatever? He's saying cover up. He's saying it's very much easy. He's saying every single part, every part of his life was micromanaged. Why would, why would this instance not be micromanaged why would this area around his life not be micromanaged he's saying also like it's meticulous the way that the powers that be have managed to create this double-sided vision this double-sided sorry this double perspective that people have of michael jackson of light and dark of complete love and heal the world, make it a better place and kind of, um, I don't want a child um, predator, you know? For some reason he's telling me to um, accept like the um, like on behalf of him, accept the tarnishing because it's based. It's because I wasn't able to express what he, that the child presence apart. He's saying you need to own that. That's okay. He's saying that image has now become a part of his energy. He's saying it. It can take a lot to clear that energy because it's about the master's perception of him that determines what kind of becomes a part of his energy. He's saying, reminding me that thoughts become things and here on earth his human beings as a collective and individually have a lot of power. Not just for what happens on earth, but in terms of the matrix and the universe. Sorry, the not the matrix, the universe. And he's saying like, whatever we think we manifest somewhere, some way, somehow, some in some place. We may not see the manifestation, but when we think of something, when, when the um, the masses or the collective believe in something, that becomes true. And it's like it's not that um, if the collective believe that he did whatever crimes they say he committed, it, that if we believe it, then he's charged with it. It's not that. It's that if we believe it, it becomes a part of his energy. If that makes sense. Something along those lines. Cosmic Gateway, Horus. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Mir miraculous changes are occurring. Confirmation. Let me just read that again because I don't feel like I read it clear enough. Horus. Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So I feel like there is a lot happening like cosmically, but I feel that this is more referring to him and the way that people see him. For some reason, I'm getting like his innocence is growing up. His innocence is growing up. I don't know how to even interpret that. But let's just go back to your thoughts of magnetic. That's just confirming of what I was saying that as beings on earth have powerful, um, what we think is powerful, what we think help um, causes manifestations in other places. This cosmic gateway that although we may not see these changes that we create things elsewhere in this galaxy and help to create things. Our thoughts help to create things. Our thoughts help usher things in. Miraculous changes. What are you saying with this Horus card? Sanunit, 
sinniness, sen, I don't know how to say that, but life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay, so we're going back to uh, miraculous changes are recurring and I'm getting with, with this life force card and the sensual and sexual powers are increasing, sorry, are increased. I feel that that's the, um, the man and how men are going to express love and express the feeling of love and even express, okay, I'm getting ex expressing love in terms of how they move and how sensual they are. I feel like men are going to become more sensual. Express your driving passion. And especially when I mentioned that in the song, the part where it spoke about express felt very significant. Expression and love and that the fact that, that when the message, the intuitive message came through about um, men expressing love and the song match at the same time, it just felt very significant and this card is saying that express your driving passion. I feel that there's going to be more of a, men are going to connect more with their heart centre and their heart space. Definitely. See, I was just getting something about the eyes of this and it was almost like their eyes, it's like almost like their heart becomes their eyes, seeing from their heart space, almost like, okay, there may be a different, a newfound kind of respect for women. But it's more so men are going to feel more. So it's not that they're going to respect, it's more like a understanding now because women are naturally more connected to their emotions and I'm not saying men are not, I'm just saying on a generalised basis. Or they have more of a tendency to acknowledge their feelings. Men are going to be in that a similar space but then the reason why that felt so significant was the eye on the Horus on Emmy's heart centre seeing from your heart space men seeing from their heart space. Okay, I'm getting not, that's not just going to ushering a new, like, found thing with love. It's going to, when men are seeing from their heart space, it's going to open a gateway. Something's going to shift. The energy's going to shift. It may not necessarily be a physical gateway. It could be a gateway in terms of energy shifting and changing and, you know, momentum and all that kind of stuff but it's like when men see from their hearts it's like a remembering i'm getting a remembering for everyone there's a link or something that men are not connecting to we're not connected to something i feel like we're out for some reason, I feel like we're the, a link or something that's not quite in vibration alignment. Something's not right there. What is that? My God. For some reason I'm hearing is here to help ushering, usher in a new generation of men. A new way of thinking for men. And for some reason I'm seeing him like flick his hair and... And to be honest I never saw him flick his hair in real life. It's about, it's, it's a proudness. It's bringing me back to proudness of being in your body. And a part of being in your body is like the feel of your body. And the only way to express the feel of your body is like, for some reason, I'm getting through sensuality. I'm hearing sensuality and being sensual is the expression of your sexual energies. It's like, I'm being shown the most poised person, the most 
prim and proper person, but they exuberate sexual energy. But it's co all coming from their sensuality. And then I'm being shown like the, the most vulgar person, the person that's fully kind of exposed. And I'm not saying you can't be sensual and be exposed, but I'm just saying the analogies that are given. And it's almost like their sexual energy is not attractive because it's almost like the more it's on show, the less sacred it is or okay I just got brought to um the covering of the hair with certain faiths if they be sensual not sexual be sensual Sensuality is divinity. Sensuality is a divine spark. Sensuality is a mating call. I'm being shown at DNA as well. Almost like when you see the DNA call, you're spinning. It's almost like that is sensuality. That's a dance. And when you are physically being sensual, moving your body in a sensual way, it's almost like that's the embodiment of your DNA dancing and attracting a suitor. And now I'm being shown like a party where two people on a similar vibe are flowing with each other and they see each other and they meet and they're just in each other's zone, in each other's energies. And they're just, you can tell when two people have connected naturally and organically and are in vibrational alignment. Okay, let's pull one final card and we'll close our eyes and see what we have coming forward. El Molra. Awakening presence. The universe is with you. We have a cloak of protection and love. that Michael is with us. I feel that is reminding us to stay protected, to protect ourselves. And I feel like more so is, is reminding me to protect myself energetically before closing my eyes and channeling the message. So before we give the message, I'm just going to close my eyes and Envision myself surrounded and covered in white light. And then I'll give the message as soon as it comes in. Peace and love. Ashe. Love can be everlasting, but you have to be willing to go with the tide. You have to be willing to go with the journey, to go with the flow. You have to also be willing to develop with the flow, to change in accordance to the flow, to change to be within alignment with said flow. Love can always be everlasting, but we have to be willing to evolve with the evolution of love. Our understanding, our overstanding of love, collectively and individually, is constantly changing, constantly growing. As we move out of the dark ages, out of darker ages, into lighter times, into the age of love, into the age of purity and honesty and tranquility and bliss. As we move into these times, 
love develops and our hearts develop. The physical structures of our hearts change. The cords that attach one part to the next part change. Your heartbeat changes according to what kind of love you are receiving and emitting. Love is constantly evolving. You must be willing to evolve with love. And a part of that is expression and how you express love. Relationships at the moment are very damaging because we as a collective, you as a collective, are not expressing love authentically. They're expressing love the way you are told to express love. If love doesn't look the way it is presented in the media, if it doesn't look the way that it's presented by friends and family, then it's not considered love. But love is something that is unique to each and every one of us, something that we all have within us. And we can only express it from our own individual point of view. Love has no description. No boundaries. But all boundaries. All boundaries in the sense that of the self is the loving of everything but in the loving of everything before the self is not love one can go out into the universe and find love in many things But if one cannot find that love, and if one has not found that love within oneself, then the love found externally can never be internalised and integrated into your being. Because the love that you find externally is not in organic vibrational alignment with your being. Now I say organic vibrational alignment with your being because we are all in alignment with love. We are all in alignment with all the varied degrees of love, but there is a very unique and signature kind of love that we all have within us that we all must access for ourselves, that comes from ourselves. And once we access that and we own that, and that love is traveling throughout our whole body, it can be expressed outside of us. Love is powerful, but it can also be powerless. Once you find the love within yourself and truly honor yourself and love yourself and are grateful for yourself, then when you go out, you can be affected by the love of others. You can internalize the love of others. But until then, you will never internalize love. You may do for a moment or for a short second, but in the grand scheme of things, without having love from yourself, without knowing that there is love in every part of your being, you will not express love authentically. My song, You Are Not Alone. I bear my chest for all to see. I was trying to express love authentically.
thank you for being with me. I thank you for listening to this truth. I send you on your journey with blessings and with joy for life and beyond. I thank you for allowing me to express and I thank you for expressing every day. Dig deep. Find the love that lies within. Access your void and release. Peace and love, Michael. Let's just take a moment to send our gratitude to Michael Jackson, to the energies around Michael Jackson. I thank my guides and I thank you for being present with me. For some reason, I feel like I just want to pull one final card and we're just going to take it from the top of the deck. Sancha Kuma, Kumara, Sanet Kumara, light activation, shine your light, your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. For some reason, well, it's, it's always like this. When I channel a message, I don't often remember the message that I channeled, even if I just channeled it. But I'm being brought back to something that I just channeled. Your internal light. Shine your light, your internal guidance. Oh, yes. When Michael was mentioning the love within yourself, that... that that can then be finding that love within yourself that can then be expressed outside of you. That's what this light is referring to. Express love, express your love, express the way that you feel about love or that you feel about somebody else that you're in love with. We're gonna leave this video here. And I thank you for being present with me. And I remind you that you are love. And you are an extension of this universe in every way. I send you my gratitude. Peace and love. Ashay.